एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द टेक स्टोरीज रिएक्ट डेमो सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज रिएक्ट व्हाट आर प्री रिक्विजिट्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू लर्न रिएक्ट एंड व्हाई डू वी लर्न रिएक्ट एंड व्हाई इट इज सो फेमस इन द इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद व्हाट इज रिएक्ट सो रिएक्ट इज बेसिकली अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट लाइब्रेरी which is used to build a single page application so react mainly focuses on making a ui better so if you go to official site of react as well you will see that react is a library let's understand what is a single page application single page application here it means it updates the content without reloading a page so that means application will become faster because uh, you are having only one single page and it, the application will be faster is not loading when the partial update is happening and user experience will be improved a lot if you use a single page application so let me take you to react official site so in this we'll understand what is single page application so if you see when i click on these links without reloading a page it updates the content so unlike multi page applications wherein it reloads the content when we click on these links it refreshes a page but when it comes to a single page application it is updating a content without reloading a page so here the application will become faster as you can see the content is updating within a fraction of seconds we are not waiting for the page to reload so this is a single page application and as it is a javascript library now a lot of people having a confusion uh, between library and framework so let me explain you the framework is a something which has everything to build a full fledged application but when it comes to a library library it has a specific task to do and if you want some other functionalities to be added into this then you can do it so as react is a library so it don't have many features in it but yes of course you have uh, the option of choosing your own libraries to build the application wherein framework you will not have that option to choose your own libraries to build a application so react is a library if you want some uh, functionalities to be added into react then you can install those libraries to build the application the best thing about react is that react updates a virtual dom so that is why the application uh, becomes very faster because uh, it is not updating the real dom when it comes to angular angular uh, updates a real dom directly when it comes to react react updates a virtual dom so it knows where to update and what to update so it is not updating the entire page it is not updating the entire content let's say if you have a list of products in that it is not updating all the list of product it is updating the product which you are updating okay so in react we have components the components are basically a building block so that means whatever ui you will be seeing that you have to split into components So let's say if you are seeing this React official site, if you want to split this site into components, then you can consider this header as a header component. In that also you can split the menus as menus component, search bar component, and we do have this three column layout. So you can create this layout once, and you can just update the content in it. So it will become a reusable component. So in that way you can create a small small components. so that it becomes a reusable component and uh, that components together makes a page so as it is a single page application we do not have a an anchor tag where it navigates from one page to another page we do have different uh, routings uh, here so you have to configure the routes and based on the routes you will be uh, navigating to that particular components so if you want to learn react then you must have knowledge on components you should know about routing as well so routing like uh, you will be configuring the routes you will be defining the browser router you will be having the links based on the links you will be navigating to that particular components and you will also have to learn how to pass the parameters with routes query parameters required parameters all these things we do have data binding concept in react so react basically flows in one direction okay managing the states of the react becomes very difficult because the data flows only in one direction that means from parent to child so if you consider a tree so in a tree you have a root and you have child of uh, that tree right so in that let's say if root is passing a data then that data goes to all of its child components right so like that only if you consider a root as a app component or a parent component 
component then a parent is sharing the data to all of its uh, child components but child won't be able to share the data to a parent component because the data is flowing only in one direction that is a big disadvantage in react so managing the state of the react will become very difficult that is why we use redux so in redux we have a you know concept of uh, store we do have a concept of uh, action and reducer so in a store you will keep all the state of the application in store so that if any of the component is in need of that data they can get that data from the store they can take some actions uh, on the data on the state of the application okay you should also know the conditional rendering so that means based on some conditions we will be rendering the data so let's say if you are writing uh, if condition based on that uh, if condition if you want to render some html okay, along with logics then you can do it so that is where we need to learn about conditional rendering okay and we do have a lot of hooks of uh, react so we have uh, use state hook because we do have uh, two different uh, types of components that is a uh, class based component and a functional component so in class based component uh, states and is easily supported when it comes to functional component we do not have states so that is the reason we use use state hook to achieve that okay states and prop props is something like a, a you have a component states and props is used to uh, you know send the data from one component to another component as a property so uh, that is what is a uh, states and props so as i said in functional component do not support state so that is why we use use state hook as an alternative of state we do have use context hook okay to uh, you know when you have a lot of components if you want to share a data from one component to another component without sharing data to any other component you can use use context hook and we do have use reducer hook like this we do have lot of hooks that uh, you need to learn and also we do have life cycle uh, of components like component mount okay once the component is fully initialized and rendered on the screen then this component did mount is used component did mount is actually very useful to make a http call also whenever you want to uh, you know uh, call something you want to call any function the component is fully rendered on the screen and fully loaded then uh, in did mount is a best place so in component did mount uh, you can make any http call and we also have component update so whenever there is change in the data then component did update will get called and component will unmount is there component will unmount will be executed once the component is removed from the dom and let's say if you are navigating from uh, one component to another component now if you can see i'm uh, getting from tutorial to docs tutorial component is removed from the dom if you want to unsubscribe to something or if you want to use clear timeout clear interval these kind of things then you can use it in component will unmount because uh, it will help if there is any leakage in the data then you can avoid it using this component will unmount along with that if you want to become a react developer then uh, you must know all of these along with that you should also know about redux so as i said managing state of the react application will become difficult when it comes to a complex application that is why we use redux redux will take care of for all the state of the application so it has a concept of store it has a concept of reducer and store will have all the state of your application reducer takes this store as well as the action and it will return you the new state so what actions you are taking on this state that reducers knows so again uh, to learn redux uh, it will take time to understand okay but uh, redux is very important we do have other libraries uh, also you can uh, use instead of redux okay now it's up to you which library you want to use uh, apart from redux along with redux you should also know about uh, unit testing uh, unit testing should be done by developers and uh, you should also know how to deploy the application so if you know this much then it is enough for a developing one full fledged application and of course when you want to learn react then is a prerequisites of react so if you know these six features along with javascript and basics of html and css is enough so if you have knowledge in html css javascript and es6 features then that is enough to learn
react so in es6 you should know let const keywords arrow functions promises rest and spread operators object destructuring maps and sets